people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube people and elsewhere on the internet my soaps locate purple butterfly dash soaps dot my shopify dot com and i'm making some more hair oil and i thought i'd take you with me because of the way i do this particular batch i have um country passion well country peach passion which I buy because of the orange peel, the rose hips, the hawthorn, the natural peach flavor, the hibiscus leaves, and the ingredients. You know, there's no black tea in it. It's all herbal. It looks like that. They come in these little packets. And I just separate that. And then I have... Bigelow peppermint tea because this is 100% peppermint leaves, no black tea. Um, when you go to the store to buy herbal tea, read the label because some herbal teas have regular tea thrown in there. And yeah, if you're making a um, hair oil, you don't necessarily want the regular tea in there. You want it to be all 100% natural or herbal. When I do peppermint, I only want peppermint leaves as my main ingredient. Now, this fabric will 100% soak straight through the oil. So I put those in the pan with my olive oil or uh, canola oil, whatever oil I'm using, directly. I don't take it and pull it out and, you know, because then after you make the oil, you'll end up having to strain it. This automatically strains, okay? So come with me. Now, you will notice I already have two tea bags in there, well four actually, two peppermint and two of the peach and hibiscus mix, and then these are going in. Now look how fast that um, got absorbed up by the oil. Now the oil went straight through that bag, which means now it can steep and infuse in the um, the tea can steep and infuse in the oil on low heat and then I give it some time and basically I wait until the entire room smells like it you don't want to put this on high heat okay well that's not true let me explain I put it on high heat until it got hot and then I turned it down to melt or low and then you know I wait till I seen one bubble you know like when you cook oil and it starts to bubble I made sure I seen one bubble so I went away then I turned it down and now it's gonna sit there until I get tired of looking at it or until I smell it and then at that point I'll turn it off and let it cool down and then I'll strain it into um, well this particular um, container because I literally use this to measure the olive oil so that way I know I had the right amount and not have an overflow and then I'll let it sit there for mm, two weeks so that way it completely infuses the um, peppermint and the hibiscus and the peach. I bought that particular tea mixture simply for those ingredients. Okay, the last oil I made, this one, this is basil, rosemary, basil, rosemary, fenugreek, and coffee. 
and as you can tell the coffee is at the bottom of it I give that a shake and put it through my hair but I knew I was going to make a peppermint tea and I didn't want to run out so while I was making my hibiscus spray I went on ahead and got some tea bags and you see me making it this is carrot oil that's going to be gone by the end of the week because basically I'm doing a um, one week treatment of the carrot oil and I figure while I'm making oils I'll go ahead and get the peppermint oil ready but the thing is when you're infusing oil you want to already have enough oil already made so that way when you're waiting two weeks for the oil that you're currently infusing, you don't have to, oh, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready? You don't have to worry about it because you already got some that you already made. So you can give it two weeks to do what it does. Because after I pour it into the bottle, I'm going to put it under my cabinet so that way it's, you know, infusing in a cool, dark place. So, yeah. But... When you make, um, that's like when I make seed oil and my fenugreek oil, you know, that has to be strained. And fortunately, flaxseed and fenugreek are large, so it's easy to pour it through a fine mesh strainer and keep it moving. Um, the fenugreek that I, um, no, the hibiscus that I have is powdered. So that was making it a little bit challenging. So, you know, instead of having to worry about trying to strain it when it's powdered and it's not going to strain, I just went ahead and got some tea leaves that are in the bags. And yeah, but in the meantime, I went ahead and used um, distilled water and vinegar in the hibiscus because it's powdered and there's no way you could strain it out because it's liquid so I'm using that as a spray and then it can rinse away because that's the hibiscus I use when I mix it with my bentonite clay and use it as a mask so it's fine enough to wash out but if you want to use it as an oil it will you know it's hard to infuse a powder <laughs> that's just the easiest way to say it um and in the form of a spray it clogs up the sprayer so when i made the hibiscus or well, basically powdered hibiscus tea i put the well it also has basil fenugreek and a few other things in there and then i poured it in a container and let it sit overnight so that way all the hibiscus was this thick on the bottom of the container and then I just poured it off and then stopped short of where the hibiscus mush was <laughs> and then rinsed that on down the sink and the rest went into a spray bottle and I'm spraying my hair with it so I thought I'd share that um, when it comes to making peppermint tea um, ginger tea uh, you know, things of that nature that you would normally make an infusion with. If you could find it in the form of a tea or a tea bag or, you know, a tea bag that you can put your ingredients in and then seal up, that would be best for when you make an oil infusion because then it automatically strains itself. It's like when that's totally completely 100% cool literally just pick it up and squeeze it and then all the goodness that was in that tea bag can get squeezed out if I don't just leave it in the um, container so that way it can you know continue to infuse over the next two weeks so yeah but a lot of people and okay some ingredients like the um, rosemary and all that is loose so when you infuse it and everything then you have to strain it but if you could find it in a tea bag 
you don't have to strain it. The tea bag is an instant strainer. You know, when you pour off your oil, you're left with all the goodness that was in that tea bag, except for the part that you would normally throw away when you strain it, just throw it away. That simplifies your life. And I'm all about everything being easier in life because <laughs> my life can be a little complicated. I mean, hello, I have platelet checks. I have meds I got to take. I'm now diabetic. And then the diabetes on top of the blood disorder, on top of the Xarelto and the Plavix and the chemo and all that. Whatever I can make life easier for me, that's what I'm going to do. And taking the infusions to the form of a tea bag and oil, that literally saves me hours and weeks at a time because, yeah, who wants to go like this and strain, you know, little particles of peppermint four times through a cloth, um, through a cheesecloth because that goes straight through a fine mesh strainer because those tea bags are literally, um, literally they, you know, grind it up and then put it in the tea bag. Um, you've seen the picture of it. Those particles are like this. Yeah. You try to strain that and it's going to go straight through. So you're going to have to use a cheesecloth or a coffee filter when you can just leave it in the bag and strain it that way. So hope this helps somebody. I'm going to go and give that a swish and let it cool down and all that because my whole house smells amazing right now. <laughs> and yeah. And that's going to be used in my hair in like a week. I already have those two in the other room. So, yeah. But this has been People 7 on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the internet. My soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at purplebutterfly-soaps.myshopify.com. Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. Bye now. Yeah. Now, let's let you see how it's looking. Uh-huh. Is that gorgeous or what? Yep, yep, yep.